I feel that it's uh, useful for me to clarify that the specific uh, PQ that I had posted last year mentioned specifically that it was with regard to non-violent uh, offenders, of which um, in a number of categories, categorizations, including the UN, uh, is, uh, excludes sexual crimes and misdemeanors. So I think it's uh, a, a bit of a mischaracterization to argue that it is about allowing pedophiles uh, back into the system. In the interest of accuracy, I think it's important that we are accurate in this house. Uh, going back to AP James Lim, he said today, it is useful to clarify the specific PQ that I had posted last year, mentioned specifically nonviolent offenders, of which in a number of categorizations, including sexual crimes and misdemeanors. It's a bit of a mischaracterization to argue that it's pedophiles to let pedophiles back into the system. So he's suggesting that last year's PQ excluded sexual crimes and misdemeanors. That's not true. The PQ specifically last year said to ask the Minister for Home Affairs whether the government will consider expanding the coverage of Yellow Ribbon Project such that ex-offenders for non-violent crimes will contingent on an extended period of good behavior following successful reintegration in society, <clears throat> be eligible for the elimination of their criminal history from public records, and hence not report this record for employment purposes. Sexual crimes were not excluded if they were nonviolent, nor were misdemeanors excluded if they were nonviolent. And my comments, both last year and this year, were based on what Mr. James Lim then asked and suggested rather, rather than what he thinks he now has asked. Uh, that's the first point. Second point, members will remember the case of Mr. Robinson, who sent across uh, sexually explicit images to try and groom a child. It's nonviolent. You want him to be in a child care center or serve as a security officer? So let's be careful. And let's also be clear what we said and what we didn't say in Parliament.